Welcome to Multifamily Live. I'm Kaylee Yerusi. And I'm Jason Yerusi. Our mission is to help you unlock your full potential as a multifamily real estate investor. So you can do more deals, bigger deals, with less stress, keep more profit, and free up your time. Multifamily doesn't have to be a mystery. It's time to go live. All right, so welcome back to Multifamily Live. Today, we are talking about a huge win we had uh, two weeks ago. So we recently sold uh, two properties in our portfolio. Uh, we did so earlier than our anticipated hold period um, allocated that we would for a number of reasons, right? So um, of course, when we took these properties on, um, we, we had a business plan. And throughout um, the course of this, just like anything in life, different things come up. Right. And so we put our underwriting in place. We put our best uh, projections in forward and a lot matched this and a lot of things uh, actually exceeded it. But of course, we started making a few adjustments and changes throughout the course of the project. And especially as COVID came into the mix. Right. So when COVID came into the mix, um, there was many uncertainties. Um, and at that point, um, we did not do any rent discounts. What we did do is we actually stopped um, some use of capital expenditures. One of the two properties we sold, we had actually just purchased um, about a month and a half um, prior to really just uh, back in March when COVID just really um, took full force and went into action here. So as we've now started to come out of this and we started to see the leasing activity really pick up in these properties, we started really pushing back into, uh, into capital um, dollars into the projects here, really to renovate units because what we were finding is that there was such an aggressive um, draw for tenants to come in here and at the same time our rent increases were exceeding our pro forma rents so good problem to have right so we don't have enough units available and the units that we are renting here we're pushing them out at higher price expectations that we thought we were going to get um, for some maybe in uh, year two and the other one actually year four so it was a great problem to have as we were really getting out of the gate now looking forward here we've been on quite a role, um, just the economy overall, right? So we've, we're seeing just a lot of things come out here. We've seen interest rates very low. We've seen cap rates continue to compress. We've seen a lot of money come into the multifamily space just because of how some of the other real estate sectors and just how, so how other, other investment sectors um, really did not perform or didn't perform at their best during COVID, right? So we've seen a lot of money coming to real estate. And so there's been a lot of traction, a lot of action. You know, if you're out there looking to buy properties right now, things, uh, the pricing has escalated, right? However, on the same time, a lot of investors are looking to invest in projects just like yourself here. So on that said, when we had these projects going in the direction that they were, we started to get some feedback, right? And so feedback has been positive. And so we had to look at it from not ourselves, but look at it from the best case for the investors. And the way I saw it here is that we were in a really good spot where we were beating expectations on these properties from where they stood. And although it was early, it was a, a win that we could notch for the investors, right? We could put them in a good place here where we could really just target those three things growth of capital, preservation capital, and return of capital, right? Those are the three most important things that we push out for investors, right? And that's what we do with our investments. So when we had this opportunity come upon us to sell these properties, it was something that we, we thought long and hard on. And we ultimately made the decision that yes, this was the time that we're gonna take these properties and of course, take them off the plate and pass them on to another group here um, that wants to take them to that next level of their business plan. So it, you have to keep your head in a swivel in this business, right? We look to put out our, our best forecast of how we can handle these projects here and how we will do these projects, but then things are going to happen. Um, hopefully not uh, something as, as, um, as diverse or complex or just involved as a COVID, right, during your hold. But there's going to be many things throughout the course of your project that are not going to go according to plan, sometimes for the worse, sometimes for the better. And we had speed bumps across along the way. So at this point, we took those properties off the table here. We sold those properties. It was a great win, right? So now we're moving on to the next projects. But the, the lesson learned there is that we always have in our mind the perfect path. But when the journey starts, the path is going to change. The path is going to alter. And for us, we have to be willing to continue to, to forge forward, continue to look forward. But what's that next step that's going to give me more guidance? What's that next step that's going to help me to get some better questions so I can get better answers? And if we continue to do that, wherever you are in your life, whether it's in multifamily or it's in fitness, it's in faith, it's in uh, starting a business, it's in selling a business, you will win. So don't stop just every single time something smacks you in the face. Don't stop every time that you feel uncertain. 
We all have those feelings. We all have those frustrations. They're commonplace in all of us. So take action, get out there, move forward. And when you have the opportunity to take a win, celebrate the win. All right, this is Jason with Multifamily Live. Have an awesome week.